And for the commodities market uh, update, join us now is Dr. Desola Simone, Senior Analyst at Financial Derivatives Company. Great to have you on the show. Good morning. Good morning, Ladi. Thank you for having me on the show this morning. Yeah, so it's uh, inflation reporting season right now. And I did, I did remember FDC projected about 27.8%. But it seems the data beat your expectation a little. Indeed, you know, it was um, a famous statistician by the name George Box said that, you know, all models are wrong, but some are useful, right? And our model is useful in the sense that we were correct in terms of the direction of inflation. We forecast at 27.8%, but the official reading came in at 27.3%. So in terms of direction, uh, we, were, we were spot on but we're just a little bit off in terms of the size of the increase. And like uh, the previous speaker, Ugodria, said that the big drivers was, was a food inflation as well as the pasture effect of, you know, first full subsidy uh, removal and the exchange rate uh, uh, effect. We saw, and I must add that this is the 10th consecutive increase in inflation that we've seen uh, this year as well as the highest you have seen in, in 18 months. And I think at this point, there's a lot of pressure on the on the central bank and the new uh, committee, the, the new members of the monetary policy committee to, to, to you know, uh, address inflation quite squarely because globally it appears that the fight of inflation, the fight against inflation is, is turning the corner. Like you said earlier, in the UK, for example, for October, inflation reading came in at 4.6 compared to like 6.7% um, uh, in September. In the US as well, we are seeing inflation slowing to 3.2% to from what it was before. And so globally, we are seeing inflation slow. Even in Ghana, inflation is what, 35% compared to 38% it was in September. So we are seeing inflation slow globally. And I think this is positive news because there is now a growing sentiment in, in, in financial markets that, you know, global inflation rates, global interest rates, I beg your pardon, have peaked. And then we are expected to start seeing some so a change in, in, in monetary policy stance uh, starting from as early as spring towards summer next year. And uh, looking at the, the, the inflation number um, right now and next month, we're all looking forward to uh, festivities. Looking at this inflation number, the average consumer is spread thin, you know, right now. Talk to me about what, how much can they take, you know, at this time? How much can consumers take at this time? Knowing fully well that uh, just next month, um, Desola, I'm sure, Desola, you've already sorted out your Christmas. I'm sure you have all the funds you need, but most of us here are still really struggling. How much can we take, really, in, in, in Nigeria at this time? Um, that's a very good question, Ladi. Indeed, uh, one of the consequences of, of inflation is a reduction in real incomes. Like you mentioned, as inflation is, is trending northwards, we are seeing uh, 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 real incomes uh, 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 depreciate, we are seeing real income decline, we are seeing uh, switching substitutes, we are seeing people uh, switch towards, you know, a, a cheaper a substitute and I think that's what's going to happen uh, this, uh, this this Christmas. I remember uh, some during Christmas, for instance, if I want to give gifts to to my friends, co-workers, etc., I could buy like bags of rice, 50 kg bag of rice, for example. But in this kind of, you know, price, high price environment, people could switch towards maybe 25 kg bags of rice or instead of buying imported rice, they buy local rice, for example. Or I think so that I think that's what's going to happen. Uh, for December, I think there's going to be some switching for those who can switch. And for those who cannot switch, I think it's going to be a, 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 a dry Christmas, unfortunately. And this is also one of the consequences of, of, of the reform. This is, this is well known globally. Wherever there's a reform, there's first of all suffering before things get better. So things get worse first before they get better. And one of the ways that the government could kind of help the situation is some form of uh, social protection. I read this morning that, you know, the government in, 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 um, in collaboration with the World Bank has started to, to, to disburse some money for social protection. They're coming up with a, a, a register of people who are most vulnerable to, 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 to the reforms, people who are the lower end of the income distribution, for example, who are most vulnerable, and they begin to identify those people and to disburse uh, uh, some funds to them. So I hope that that should, you know, help 
the suffering but mostly what's going to happen is some switching we saw that as well in the uk just last week we saw uh, grocery inflation for example grocery store inflation declined in september in, in october to 9.7 percent from 11 percent and one of the key drivers was people switching switching to cheaper cheaper you know substitutes in the uk here uh, store brands, for example, buying uh, a, a gallon of milk from Tesco, for example, Tesco brand is cheaper than, than buying uh, other brands or buying uh, a digestive biscuits, for example, the Tesco brand of digestive is cheaper than buying the McVitie's brand, for example. So we saw that switching in the UK and that brought down grocery inflation. And I think that's what's going to happen as well in Nigeria. People switching due to uh, squeezed uh, real incomes. Right. And, and talking about uh, real incomes at this time, uh, next week, I think we're all expecting a Black uh, Friday. That's for next week. And definitely uh, consumers are going to be expecting loads of discounts, you know, uh, coming. Do you think um, businesses can meet the expectations of uh, consumers when it comes to discounts? At the end of the day, businesses are not charities, right? Businesses are in the business of making profits, right? So right. they would, they, businesses, I think, would to kind of stimulate sales, right? Because, like you mentioned, prices are, are, are elevated at the moment, generally. And so, in, and because of prices are elevated, the willingness to pay of the marginal consumer gets smaller. So as price goes higher and higher, more and more people are priced out of the market, essentially. Their willingness to pay declines more and more so i think what can happen is you know some businesses can reduce some of their prices on some of their products to kind of just stimulate stimulate demand particularly for goods that uh, that they are, they are price elastic right so they are quite sensitive to 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 price changes so i think what can happen is that businesses for some of their products where you know it's still profitable uh, they can they can reduce uh, some of their prices so that you know to stimulate uh, some demand Right, Let, let's hope consumers don't shun uh, Black Friday uh, coming up uh, n uh, next week. But talking about the uh, global inflation trend, you know, right now, um, seeing what's happening with US CPI, the UK, you know, all, all coming in softer um, than expected. How does that play into the um, inflation importation story in Nigeria? I think that's, that's a really, really good question, Ladi. So, why because i was going to ask this question myself why do we care about what's going on with inflation in the us or the uk well we care about it because these countries are big trading partners i don't remember the size of our trade at the moment but these countries are big trading partners and if you know they're experiencing high inflation in their countries and we import from these countries they are also importing part of this inflation into Nigeria. But in addition to the imported inflation, we also have uh, a devalued, a weaker, you know, currency which pushes uh, prices even upwards. And as Igor Dre mentioned, inflation in Nigeria is still it has some room to go. We've not seen inflation peak yet in Nigeria because many of the goods for for December, for example, that were ordered in in, in September and October at the relatively higher exchange rate. They're going to reflect in the prices in, in, in December, and that's also going to feed into inflation. But I think as globally, inflation prices, as prices are coming down globally, as inflation is tapering in the UK, in Europe, in the US, I think that imported portion of inflation would, would also begin to, would be, what's the word, transmitted also into lower inflation for Nigeria. But we have to remember that there is still, uh, what's the word, there is still, there is still uh, the exchange rate pass through effect. But I think in addition to all of this, like, one good news is that at least traders now, the sentiment in the market is that interest rates have peaked. So we don't expect uh, higher interest rates anymore. And as a result of that, we are seeing a lot of um, a lot of investors dumping cash and going into bonds. We are seeing bond yields uh, trend downwards, but the prices trend upwards. In Nigeria, for example, also we saw the stop rate of open market operation also trend upward. For example, it has 365 day uh, OMO bill is now around 18 percent, and I think that is positive in the sense that it will encourage some savings. Right, so moving, moving, reducing the cash in circulation, moving to savings, but also it might also attract, begin to attract some some foreign investment which we need so daily at the moment.
Yeah, I guess um, definitely investors globally are looking for or looking towards an end to the higher for longer uh, story when it comes to uh, rates at this time. Thank you so much. Great having your perspective, uh, Dr. Desola Simoni, Senior Analyst, Financial Derivatives Company. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me.